Hello everyone. Very warm welcome to Think Constructive. I am Isha. In this session today, I will be demonstrating the group by and count feature of Java 8. It's an important addition in Java 8 and one of the frequently asked Java interview question. All right, so stay connected. Watch the demonstration till the end so that it will be very beneficial and very helpful for you. All right, so let us start with the demonstration of grouping and count feature. So let us uh, have a look which scenario I will be talking first. So first scenario is, let's say you are supposed to count the occurrence of each name from a given list. Okay, so there is one way you can always write your own code piece, your own logic for that. Another way is from Java 8 onwards, collector APIs and a stream APIs were introduced which directly gives you the method to perform such operations. All right, so I will be demonstrating those stream and collector APIs for this particular scenario. How can you do that? Okay, for the demonstration, I will be using IntelliJ IDEA Java Editor. You can use any Java editor of your choice. Okay, here is the IntelliJ IDEA Editor and I have already created a basic skeleton for you. All right, so what I was supposed to do, I was supposed to create a list first. Why? Because my scenario was, I'm supposed to count the occurrence of each names in the given list. That means I should have a list of names. So I'll first create the list of names. And since it is of names, so I will just take the data type as a string. Okay. And I will just say list of names is equal to new array list because that's what I need. Okay. And, and inside this array list, I can directly initialize it with the list of names, whichever names I want to keep. Okay. So let me start giving some names here. Let's say I will just say APJ Kalam. Okay. So I have created a list of names. And now my next thing is to count the occurrence of each of these names. Okay, so I'm supposed to count the frequency of each of these names. One way you can just write your big logic. Another way I'll just do it via collectors and stream API. So I'll demonstrate you that. So I'll first take a map of string and long data type. Okay. Then let's say I'm giving the variable name as count of names. Okay. What do I do next? I will just take list of names because I should be doing a counting of names from this list itself. We'll create a stream out of it and we'll call the collect method. Okay. Inside this collect method, what do I do? I will call my collect which is again part of java.util.stream package collectors.grouping by I'll be calling and then I will be giving function dot identity separated by I'll explain this in a while collectors dot what operation do I want to perform counting operation all right what I have done basically I have created the stream for this list of names and have called the collect method inside the collect method I am calling collectors dot grouping by because because this will create group of the same name. All right. So for APG Kalam, it will create one group. For Steve Jobs, it will create another group. For Bill Gates, it will create one more group. For Mr. Pichai, it will create a new group. All right. So that's how it will be grouping the things. In our example, how many groups this grouping by method will create? Four. And in those each four groups, it will be performing the counting operation because in the grouping by see the syntax of grouping by is classifier and then the operation or downstream so more technical term is downstream otherwise in simple terms you can just say you'll be passing the operation what you are supposed to perform on this grouping thing so first thing what this grouping by will do will group the elements which are same Okay, so in our case, ABJ Kalam will be one group, P 
बिल गेट्स विल बी अनदर ग्रुप लाइक वाइज ओके हाउ मेनी ग्रुप्स विल बी क्रिएटेड इन दिस लिस्ट फोर ग्रुप्स ओके एंड देन द डाउन स्ट्रीम ऑपरेशन विल हैपन एंड वॉट दिस ऑपरेशन इज टेलिंग काउंटिंग सो काउंटिंग ऑफ ईच ग्रुप ओके सो काउंटिंग ऑफ ईच ग्रुप विल बी परफॉर्म्ड एंड विल बी स्टोर्ड इन दिस काउंट ऑफ नेम्स मैप मैप आई हैव क्रिएटेड ऑफ स्ट्रिंग एंड लॉन्ग दैट मीन्स द की इज स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज दिस लिस्ट इज ऑफ स्ट्रिंग डेटा टाइप ओके सो माई की विल बी ऑफ स्ट्रिंग डेटा टाइप एंड दैट्स वॉट दिस फंक्शन आइडेंटिटी विल डू ओके एंड वैल्यू विल बी दिस कलेक्टेड ऑट काउंटिंग ऑलवेज रिटर्न लॉन्ग डेटा टाइप सो वैल्यू विल बी ऑफ लॉन्ग डेटा टाइप ओके आई होप दिस पार्ट इज क्लियर सो नाउ इन दिस काउंट ऑफ नेम्स मैप नाउ इन दिस काउंट ऑफ नेम्स मैप आई विल बी गेटिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ की एंड वैल्यू पेयर वेयर की विल बी ऑफ स्ट्रिंग टाइप एंड वैल्यू विल बी ऑफ लॉन्ग डेटा टाइप ओके सो लेट अस नाउ ट्राई टू प्रिंट दिस एंड सी वॉट एम आई गेटिंग All right. So how do I do that? I will take my map count of names and and will iterate it. I'll just say count of names for each. And uh, I'll just use lambda here. So key of names. Okay. And what is the second thing? Value. So value of count. okay these are the two parameters for that how do i print that i'll just make use of system dot out dot println what do i print here let me give a user friendly message occurrence of occurrence of what occurrence of particular name so i'll just say plus and will print key of names so i'll just print the name here the particular group okay and then a constant message is equal to and let's say i'll just say value of count dot to string so that's how i can print it so let me just go ahead and execute it what do we get occurrence of steve jobs is 4 we can verify it you can see how many times i am getting steve jobs 1 2 3 and 4 all right occurrence of apj kalam is 3 1 2 and third one is here all right so likewise you can do the grouping and then counting for frequency for any name or any item in the list or in the given collection all right i hope this demonstration is clear if you have any doubts please ask your doubts in the comment section below okay let us see the second scenario now so second scenario if i am supposed to count the occurrence of each number from the given list earlier we have done it for names now let us try it for number okay i'm back to intellij idea editor and here is another skeleton which i have created for you so what is my second scenario count the occurrence of each number in a given list okay so i should have a list first likewise we did earlier so list of this time integer type i will take okay earlier we had seen the scenario for string now this time the integer okay so number list i would say and again the same stuff the new array list i will create okay and will pass so we'll pass some number here let's say 1 2 3 4 5 5 what do i need to do i need to count the occurrence of each number in this list what should i do i will be creating a map okay map of this time yes integer and since collector dot counting always return long so it will always be long okay so map of numbers let's say okay and what do i do i should be creating a stream of number list how do i do that number list dot stream dot collect so inside this collect 
method what what should i do i should be calling collectors dot grouping by because again the concept the core logic would remain same you should be grouping the numbers and then counting that's how it will work it will be grouping collector will be grouping the numbers and then counting the frequency of each number so i have called collectors dot grouping by inside grouping by my function dot identity because that will be providing the key data type all right and here what should be the method i'll be calling for operation or the downstream starts it should be collectors dot counting all right so now I have, what i have got after this i have got the map of numbers with this time integer data type as key and long data type as value so integer data type key will be holding actually the number which are given here in the array list and long will be holding the counting of each number from this list all right so let us now try printing it map of numbers dot for each and what should i do inside i will just say list number comma count okay i'll just call my system dot out dot println and inside this what i should be printing i'll give some friendly message occurrence of and then i would want to print the number so where is the number number is in the key so my list number okay plus the remaining part of the message is equal to again i'll be saying plus here and will print the count of this okay that's all so this is actually the scenario how you can use another data type for grouping by okay earlier we counted the frequency of names which were of a string data type this time we are counting the frequency of each number which is of integer data type okay so see the difference here like this okay so let me just execute this how do i do that from here and what am i getting see let me just take it a bit up and see occurrence of one in the given list occurrence of one in the given list is two so one two twice one is occurring here occurrence of two in the given list is again two so two is occurring two times let us see the occurrence of five occurrence of five in the given list is four so five one two three four all right so that's how you can just verify everything here so one two three four five six seven eight nine all numbers are counted and printed here with the help of collectors grouping by okay so i hope this demonstration both the scenarios are very very clear to all of you if you have any doubts please ask your doubts in the comment section remember this feature is introduced in java 8 so if you will try to use this feature prior to java 8 it it won't work okay so use this feature with java 8 or any upward version so you can use it with java 8 9 10 anything okay 8 onwards you can use it and the key packages to be noticed here java.util.stream okay this is a key package which is introduced in java 8 java.util.function okay that's another key package so keep in mind all these packages you should be knowing all these methods and their usage you should be knowing and the scenarios all right so this is very very important question for java interviews and very frequently asked which packages were introduced how the streams work how the grouping by works what benefits it gives you all right so all those things we have covered in this session if you have any questions please write down in the comment section if you like any particular part of the session please annotate that part in the comment section that will be very helpful for everyone all right thank you everyone for watching this session i'm sure this session will help you with your java interviews and java projects also i'll keep on bringing more and more java features scenarios demonstrations and discussions here so stay connected to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed please do so i hope you like the session so hit the like button and share this session with more and more people so that everyone is benefited. Thank you once again. Bye for now.